Hello, welcome back. Today we talk about one of the most important and influential rock and roll bands of all time, in my opinion. And this band has a new album out. We're talking about Pixies and their new album Doggerel. Yeah. Before we go into this 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 new album, how it how the music is, how how it sounds, let's just get briefly briefly into into uh, 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 the Pixies. You know, between '87 I think and '91, they were almost unbelievable. It's it's as I said at the beginning, this is in my opinion one of the very few perfect rock and roll bands who has been so influential and, and, and strong and important and great that this is really something rare. And this has a lot to do with the, with the two main egos, with the two main egos in a way, Frank Black and, and, and Kim Deal, the, the bassist. And of course, like like so often in history and in the in the history of music those two egos are bound to crash that happens uh, frank black made a successful solo career kim deal uh, 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 did her thing with with the breeders and yeah the rest is history the rest is history um, then maybe maybe they needed money or, or whatever they did between I think I think uh, uh, 2003 and 2014 they did several incredible successful uh, 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 tours probably they needed the money maybe they also wanted to try how is it nowadays but I think Kim Deal never wanted to go back into the studio and 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 do new a new album with the pixies and then they found a a new bassist pass uh, pass Lanchet, and yeah now this this doggerel is their fourth album with pass Lanchetin on the bass and yeah interesting very interesting result in my opinion to be quite honest the last or the first three albums with 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 Pass, I, I I don't think that those were strong Pixies album. But on this one, on this one, for the first time with Pass Lanchetin, somehow it, it it clicked, it clicked. In my opinion, we really we really do have a true Pixies album here. Maybe maybe they went to the studio and said, "Come on, don't don't go there and and look what happens, look what emerges while we're doing it." Maybe they they had the uh, the whole idea was, "Come on, let's do, let's try and, and and go back, go back to the roots in a way," and they managed to do that, which of course for Pixies fan, this is a great thing, and so, yeah. For the first time with this new bassist, we have a real, real Pixies album. Which of course, I think I said it once, I say it again, which of course is a great thing. Let's briefly go into the packaging, into the edition. I already showed the cover several times. Here's the cover. Comes in a beautiful artsy gatefold. Here we have the back side nice packaging here we have the non poly lined inner sleeve also beautiful well made i've got mine on shiny yellow vinyl with the labels here you can see them all good all beautiful well, of course we get Usually I start with the hype sticker, not this time, so okay. But still, let's get into the hype sticker. Here we go. Come on, get sharp. No, he doesn't want to today. Okay, it's too small. I read it. 
brand new studio album featuring There's a Moon On and Vault of Heaven limited edition yellow vinyl. Yeah, that's it. Not very informative, but still a hype sticker. Keep those. Um, yeah, how does, how does this album sound? And here, as much as I like the music, which of course, yeah, is, is the most important thing, I am not so fond about the sound of it. In my opinion, it lacks punch, edge. It almost sounds <laughs> sounds like a like a bad remaster in a way, like a not so good remaster in a way. It lacks something, you know. I expect a little bit more, as I said, more edge, more punch, more sharpness, more depth, more of everything in a way. I, I strongly doubt that it has something to do with the yellow vinyl version. I, I don't think so. In the, in the last time I do not have uh, mentioned uh, problems uh, with, with uh, colored vinyl that is mentioning uh, worth mentioning. Uh, maybe sometimes with glow-in-the-dark vinyl, but we all know that uh, nowadays. So this can't be the problem. So this is a little underwhelming, but the record, the music itself, is, is great. Really, really cool. So, now what? What to do? Because we are also talking, we are not talking, we are not only talking about music, we are also talking about vinyl. And if you, if you're a vinyl collector and want to have everything into vinyl, no doubt get this record on vinyl. You you don't get an, a, a highlight, sound-wise, but you get a vinyl. For other uh, music lovers and collectors who are also into streaming and or maybe even CDs, yeah, I think it doesn't matter in this case. So that's musically, it's a strong recommendation. So it's the best pixies for a long long period of time but the vinyl yeah as i said a bit under underwhelming so that's it in a nutshell for my pixies doggerel review i thank you for your time and i hope i see you on the next one bye <laughs>